Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody, to some more Medieval 2, Total War, Lord of the Rings, Divide and Conquer Mod 4.5 with yours truly. Free water with the exclamation point because we got trade for days, baby. Look at all those trading. Oh, all these boats. All this trade we got going on. We're thriving. Dunland's a great place right now. And all we have to do yes, is deal with some Lord. pesky neighbors. So I was thinking for this. Um, coming back to it, orders, I, I was yes, thinking we Lord. may wait here originally, but this Captain Come Nick is out here, As you command, and I feel glory, like we can kind of come out here, victory. perhaps kill this guy ah. off, make us ourselves just 300 more cash money, we have potential to get some extra uh, pieces. The troops by your order. We do have we do have a little ambush going, so maybe we Lord actually stay right here because these guys will be able to come to us. We'll, make we'll be able to have our full stack, yes, even though it's a little bit weaker. Uh, our biggest biggest holes in the army are going to be this Dunlining Raiders and this, especially the Clan Spearmen, and Clan Axemen. We may just stack all those guys on top of each other to recreate another tight, just another thick line of one unit. Maybe with the Berserkers leading up the charge, the Berserkers and then the Raiders followed up by these two guys in the back. Just to hold the line a little bit further. Maybe mitigate some of those casualties. But I think we were about ready to take the end of the turn. Because we were all finished with our moves down here. If you know last time we were attacking this Gondorian town. We're going to see what's happening over here. I mean it's a pretty nice siege force in there. But this cat, this guy only brings another spear to the fight. We were thinking about coming out here perhaps. After to help out with the siege of Saraland. But we'll figure out. We'll figure out as we go along. Marching to war. That's what we had accomplished originally orders, with, my uh, lord. this guy so far. But we had we remembered we had to bring our chieftain back. So let's go ahead. Cycle through the turn. You guys already know. You guys already know what happened. But I gotta give myself a recap sometimes. <laughs> uh, Rohan's holding on. Gondor, we have to be wary. We have to be wary and get ready to get a nice full stack of strong soldiers because Gondor will be coming, I'm guessing for me, maybe not just Mordor, but I bet they're going to split their stack off. We're pretty, I mean, we are a huge thorn in their side and we've been taking a ton of their areas. I don't know if Mordor's just been fighting back and forth for the most part, but they may start sending, they may send one of those forces after us. <laughs> we'll have to be careful though. Because I like we're we're dealing with Gondorians and like outmassing them right now, but if they have similar mass with a like a nice general, too, I think we're going to be at a disadvantage in any fight unless we have just a cluster of units together. We're going to have to try and keep outmassing them. I don't think we're going to be able to say siege Kor Willishar right now. It's a little too back and forth with other units being able to come in. So I think that's going to be a fighting, like a back and forth area, perhaps for us. We'll keep reinforcing up there. And then uh, we'll push, we'll try to push to the north. What we need to do is capture Bree anyway. Wow. I mean, Isengard still lost a lot of troops on that. But that was a very good fight right there. Going on that fort. Bringing up some more units. I guess they're merging those guys. That's good. He needs some more troops. They need to put those two together, though. Merge up one really nice army there. These Gondorians are a little split for now, but I think they're going to start merging up soon. They're trying to go back to Saraland. And send everything over there. But they're going to be too late, I think. Just a tidbit too late. They may try to attack us. Who knows? That's some gone. See, this is, I think, where we're going to have to cluster together now. Bring these two armies together. And whatever's left behind stays as a second army. We could have a general leading each one as well. Just in case our little, our little one gets caught out, perhaps.
the end of turn report look at that we're still growing i mean we're cool we're we're near par with mordor now on a lot of stuff the dwarves still being the richest faction though inconspicuous uh, that merchant's disguise Unlining her, her, uh, helmet. Helmet. Sometimes I get myself too tongue tied and twisted. Okay, we got our little spy here. That's what we were waiting on. Um, let's come out this way with him. We're gonna move him all the way up here. Approaching quietly. We're gonna keep our other spy around this area. Approaching quietly. Something like this. I don't think we need to worry about anything up here. There's not really any Gondorians not taking the road here. Your will, my lord. My lord. Now yes, can our lord, lord yes, our lord can make it up here. So what we're gonna do is go up Your here with will, him. My lord. Do that. As you command an honorable, glorious victory to battle. Let's see what this we entails. Shall so if we fight everything, it's way better for us. Um, we could probably we could probably wait and attack all together as well. We come in from the both sides. We just kill off this guy really quickly. So we'll we'll draw with that. I think we attack with him though, and bring in our chieftain instead. Well, no, we need to start with the. Uh... I like how they don't like us. We'll we'll start with this instead. Because I don't know if the ballistas will actually come in as reinforcements during that. Or Lon Galen. Um, maybe we should have thought of that. Very high tax rate. <laughs> my lord. Yes, my lord. Um, I don't think there's anything we're really going to be able to build there for now. Let's go ahead and move up the rest of our guys. Yes. Let's take care of everything else before we worry about that battle. By your command. The rest of this should be pretty on par with itself. Good think about getting some better roads as we have our troops travel along, but I think Set we do it from Cross, if anything. Set sail. Yes, sir. Gondorian sail. docks getting blockaded. Yeah, it looks like they're still having to deal with Mordor. That's port. good. They're probably gonna win. They're yeah, more. The orcs are gonna lose that fight. Us probably. Just between seeing the two flags and knowing that Gondorian troops are like way way stronger. Marching to war. Yeah, let's go lift the siege. Let's clean this guy out already. The day is ours. Your will we'll be here lord. instead, yes, ready to make the siege with this guy. And let's head up here to our fancy little. Marching troops. Yes. We can go no further today. And we've basically exhausted all of our troops will, as of right now. I think we do need to refocus on infrastructure as we By keep. Oh, no, no. Not possible. We Darn it! We got debated. Can't do it. We can't get. We'll have there. to remember him. Your will, my lord. <laughs> we'll have to as remember him next turn. Yes, your will, my lord. As you wish, Sometimes I just get a little too click. I just get a little too command. click happy, you know. Everyone Your does. Yes. Let's bring them together for now. As you just wish. keep a decent stack here, just in case we need to resupply with chaff to the front line, but keep that place protected as well. Um, Your orders, my lord. I will only address you. I mean, we yes, could go attack this captain. We can't do this yet. Your will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. With honor. Come out here. Lord. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. Let's stay somewhere like yes, this. My lord. Won't worry about sending up the horses Lord, yet. My lord. We shall engage. Glory, honor, victory. All right, they have the Greenway Riders. To battle. Pretty nasty. And they have those Band of Brass archers. Let's see what we can get away with. 132 casualties. Not too bad. Honorable, glorious victory. Now let's see yes, if we can lord. siege it. We shall engage. We shall prevail. Let's do something like that. Yes. A couple siege towers, some ladders. My lord. Clean up yes. with this cav here. Will, we'll keep these guys we on the side. No um. Orders. Let's bring them up here. We'll wait Those till next turn. 
and then go after Metraith, I think, here. Freeland, going for Longbottom? I don't even think that's like a... Uh, that may just be a small town still. They probably have built it up, I'm sure, by now, though. Your will, my lord. So my keep lord. going on that. We're good on here. Let's look at some infrastructure to go with, perhaps. Eorot. Could possibly use those roads, because that's a very central point that we're using here. The Dune Yard as well. I think this is all Heorot. And we do take a very vertical uh, way here. So let's actually go with that. Doesn't help our trade as much as it would normally. Actually, instead... Yeah, we need to get that Master's Carpenter's Hut first instead. So we'll wait on that. Paying the price now for the roads. Um, we have the, we could get the roads here. Uniard. Um, we don't need the master's carpenter's hut here. We don't really need to upgrade anything here. I think we guess could go for a catapult maker. Just don't know what we'd really need a catapult ca ah, catapult for as of yet. The ballistas are doing kind of good work. I think we focus most of our money into our, our cities out here. Maybe and we got some good stuff going here. Maybe Karos Nurnland here. We have 60%, so I don't think we need a Grave of Stories. But it would be nice to get like this Moot Hall or something, perhaps. So we can start hosting some more free upkeep units. Or one of these armories. Because this could be a contestant point down here. Yeah, let's go ahead and try out these armories. We'll keep going with that. Let's head down here. Let's get this siege going. Your orders, my lord. As you come on. Cleaned up that other guy. Attack! Let's kill a nice captain. Let's kill a very strong captain. And what we may do is just bring our other troops all the way around. We have the time to do it. And we'll just flood the place. Absolutely flood the place from just a couple entry points. We'll just have so many people. Hmm. And we are going to destroy a lot quicker. And destroy incredibly quickly. Let's keep them back like here ish. Keep these archers out here for now. Everyone else can hang out here. I don't know why I didn't just do this to begin with with the spears, but you know, it happens. Have these guys chilling. And go for it. Reinforcements will be coming in. See what we can do here, though. Once we get rid of these towers, I'm okay with getting a little bit closer. And I kind of like what we get with these extra archers. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Let's get the pikes out here. Pikes, pikes. Pikes and spears. I hope we don't accidentally shoot our own guys. Let's see if we can get some shots in here. We'll do something like that for now. Then we'll shoot back here at these towers. <sighs> Got these guys going up. I like how these wolf spikes still go pretty quick for a walk. Just for walking. Bring these axemen around to get ready to slam them. As well as these swords, perhaps. Are they hitting these things at all? A little tough to tell. Oh, that was definitely a whiff. Actually, let's come over here then. Let's shoot that wall over here. And get a little bit closer. Just a little bit closer now. Just a little bit closer now. 
maybe something like here where we can get on top just a little bit on top of this hill past these rocks or right on top of the rocks let's go a little bit more past the rocks here and try to shoot over our guys into that wall there <clears throat> archers you guys come out here you guys come on out here let's move these guys under there let's just take this a little bits at a time we got a decent amount of time for this siege see what we can do here we just need to knock a couple things down I don't think we're going to use the archers to shoot just yet. I think we're going to step them in closer here. Maybe go for these Gondor defenders instead. When they're in a little clustered area like that. Punch that wall down. <laughs> You're not doing it right. They all just got taken out of there. There we go. Put them back in. Oh, wrong, guys. Isomach Axeman, that's what I meant to run. There we go. We're hurting it. Bring these ballistas closer. You guys, come on up. Where's the rest of these guys? Yeah, let's run them all. Push these guys back. Come out this way. You guys come out this way. Start running up here. You guys start running up here as well. These swordsmen are going to go here. These Isomok Axemen are going to come up this way and crash the back line. These old pikes are having a field day, though, I feel like. Get him, bros! The axe charge. Armor piercing. <laughs> Get in there, bros. Fill up the line. Double chop. Getting clustered. You like to see it. Looks like those towers are out for the most part. Get a little bit closer and shoot this stuff. These guys can run out up here. Still holding on to the archers for now. Now we could go... Could use our spears here early at these Gondor defenders just to help us get inside. But we'll turn them off that. There we go. We're punching a hole now. We just had to get... Since it was a smaller target, didn't shoot as far. Makes sense. another hole right here. Actually, let's do one not right next to our troops. Well, that one's kind of right next to our troops, too. We'll swing at them from this way. It looks like they got their backs turned to us. Ooh! Let's make them turn their backs to us just a little bit more. Let's get as far as we can in there. As many other guys we can hit as possible. Oh, yes, they're giving us a flat line right there, too. This is it. Yes, your day is about to be ended. Woo. 
Ooh, that was a big hit right there. Let's go, boys. Let's see another volley. Ooh. Ooh. Each time. Okay, one more volley. And we're going to stop it here, though. After that one. Those guys are wavering a little bit now, at least. <laughs> I thought I was hitting my own guys there. Um, he's ballistic and chill for now, then. Actually, he guys shooting there. Shoot those fire ones in there. Let's get in here. Walk these guys up here. We're going to sit behind right now. We're going to figure out who to take up here. I think for sure all the archers come in here. Just somewhere in here. As we're moving these guys, we're getting the fight going with the rest of those guys. Let's take them off. Move our chieftain and everyone to this side. Move the javelins up here. Let's have them just chase this back so we can kill these guys quicker. So we can get the rest of our troops inside. There we go. That was sort of a charge, I think. <laughs> that was that was a charge, all right. Those Gondorians know how to hold the line. I'll give that to them. Except for this, you go out. Oh. Wait, you guys are not. You guys are not in that group. I want you guys out here instead. They are dripping arrows on us. Just ever so slightly. Everyone's back in their loose form or out of their loose formation now. Did turn these guys on uh have them go on auto fire, but nah, they may not work with that. I don't know what they were doing there though. We had them on defensive, so they shouldn't have kept going. At the gateway. Yeah, if they want to pepper us with arrows, I'm okay with that. Especially for those black roots. Yeah, if they want to waste their ammo all day long trying to hit just my chaff. Ch especially chaff archers. I mean, these druidane guys? Not too bad. Not too good either, though. <laughs> these guys. We'll have them flood up the the front in a second, but I do want to see if we can use up the rest of this ballista. <clears throat> Let's see if it works. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> These guys, you can turn on auto-fire. You guys go ahead and auto-fire now, too. Might as well blanket them back. Let's do this. At least have some pikes here to block off our javelins a little bit. Oh, yeah. Are those towers shooting back at them? No, they're shooting at us now. Let's shoot these archers instead now. If we can. That would be very nice to hit those Black Reveal archers, especially the way they're lined up their troops. Like a nice, solid line right there. Yeah, just shred these Territorial Guardsmen with arrows. We may not do a lot of damage to them, but by golly, one of those arrows, arrows will kill them. We do need to get over here for this General's Bodyguard, though. To actually bring our chieftain over here. Let's go on defensive. Stop shooting those guys and just start shooting that general's bodyguard. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Just keep trying to shoot them if possible. Let's go in here, fight this Gondor militia over on this side. They have some Territorial Guardsmen out there? That's weird. Man, 
We'll just bring these guys in here. I think we bring them over to stop these Territorial Guardsmen, actually. Yes! Keep firing into that General's Bodyguard. Yeah, let's just push into here with these guys. Crush them. This is just going to be a slow one. Alright, ballistas, get in there. I'll keep shooting them. Wherever these guys are going. They're still letting us just shred those general's bodyguards. It's probably actually beneficial for them to take all that. Let's wait for his little thing to be over. If he wants to get a little bit closer to, we can hold on to that. Those Isamok Axemen will take him out soon, though. We're just trying to shut down these archers while we get our last little bit of Ballista in there. Just please don't hit our own guys. Just not my general, at least. Let's collapse back in here. Where are these Territorial Guardsmen? Okay, there they are. Yeah, they're starting to shoot at us. They want to get these guys off. Get these guys out of here. So we can stop getting shot from both sides. Because of a random Territorial Guardsman keeping towers on. Keep charging up here. His thing should be over now. Let's start shredding him with arrows again. I don't know what his special was. But I'm guessing it was something that got his like tankiness up, perhaps? His beefiness, some might say. Let's just pour through here. If we can get that center point, they're going to try and run a lot more. If we get away from those towers, it won't matter too much. Keep pushing it, guys. Push it to the limit. They're sending that general back. Looks like. They do have their special again, but let's pepper him as he goes away. While those, uh, their shields are off. Ooh. Oh, I wish that did something. Let's see if we can chase them down. Hold the archer arrows. Swing back in on these guys from all sides. Yeah, we can actually, let's go this way. These archers are not doing too much there. There are those territorial guardsmen we could deal with. That's such a weird uh, angle. These guys are just running around trying to keep up with them. We'll send the archers back out here though. There's not much else we can do here. We need to make sure our general doesn't get clapped on this. We need to get these guys in here. These guys come around here. We don't want to be the ones to attack with these spears. I mean, they are going to anyway. They're going to anyway, but we want to get clear so these Eisenbach Axemen can get in there instead. Maybe push back against some of these pikes instead. Territorial Guardsmen. Now let's focus on that General's Bodyguard. Have everyone else focus on these Black Root Veil vale Archers. Or these Guardsmen, perhaps. And you three guys focus on this instead. Should be fighting pretty well against them. 
the Legi are coming this way. Have these guys all run in here. The archers. Just shoot these guys. Bloop. Get back in there. <clears throat> See how the archers do. They don't it very weird shots. Very weird shots indeed, but we'll we'll use whatever we got left. Those clan hunters are about out. Territorial guardsmen are doing some silly stuff. But uh we'll take it. See if we can get all the way into here with this general's bodyguard collapse at him from all sides. Even if it's just as clan axemen. Our men are in command of the city! Except for you guys, keep going after that general's bodyguard. I think we're gonna kill him first. How's our chief been doing? Where is he at? I don't think he's in the back anywhere. Where would our chieftain be? I see chieftain's bodyguard right there. Unless that is him. Um. Just a lot of Gondorians. Look at our guardians of Dunland go, though. Oh, just beautiful. One more defensive stance. Hold everyone's. Uh, they're going to be super tired after this, but these guys' combat effectiveness will go down again. Territorial Guardsmen almost down. We'll just have these guys go attack the Territorial Guardsmen with them. Whatever they can do to hop on it. Now all that's left is these Guardians. Or General's Bodyguard. I was looking at our Guardians of Dunland while I was going on. We just hope our General doesn't accidentally die here. <clears throat> Theirs is probably going to be sitting there right until the end. There he is. He's running around. He's not even fighting. He looks pretty chill. Let's slow it down, actually. Let's get a good look at him. <laughs> Never mind. He's dead. He's dead. There we go. Not too many losses. We're going to be able to sync up this army a lot more i'm what i'm gonna do is take as much of the top tier units as we can and keep behind everything else maybe to split between those two territories just in case gondor tries to sneak something behind our main army or we're gonna stick to one main army for now maybe take a defensive stance while we see what happens with this uh larger like since they got their last stand army going on <clears throat> We shall see. We shall see. That was a great siege. That felt pretty good. <laughs> it's so sad, though, to see all my archers basically do nothing. Once I get those beast slayers, though, they're going to be shredding a lot more. Victory! Especially for that height. Our courage and honor have conquered. Actually, not too bad. I mean, I don't want to pay the upkeep on it, but we got Your more because we captured that place let's actually come up here with that ballista so we'll have two ballistas there wait the unstoppable yes so many things now we got a lot of casualties recovered too from all these um well what is this going to give them? Oh, they need superior chainmail. Okay. Well, it says they only get chainmail, so I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe they get higher training, I suppose. We can break that. We'll keep that. Um, Let's retrain these guys, at least. All of the... Well, yeah, we'll retrain this guy. Um, we'll keep, since, since we'll retrain that chaff, we'll keep it in there as well. Let's send these two guys, these two guys for sure, into here. Okay, never mind. 
Oh, okay, yeah, will, yeah. My lord. Well, we'll do. My yeah. Lord. We'll take will, this. My lord. Take these. My lord. Because these guys are a full fresh unit. We can even get this Dunlin Pikeman to be retrained. He's a gold tier. Um. Take these guys out. Move these guys in. Your will, my lord. My lord. Oh. My lord. Orders. My these lord. guys. Take him my out. Lord. We'll take anything weak out. Orders. Or just at least low amount. We'll even Tell take these I war chanters out because we have Chieftain Yag back. That's so one, two, three, four, five. Or one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Your will, my lord. Orders. Five, my six. Lord. Your will, my lord. And then we could just go the staunch 789 line right here. Like that. That looks pretty gnarly. We still got some pretty decent amount in here. We'll have a way stronger pike line. Way stronger front line. With sem semi-good support. Especially with these uh, javelins. I'd rather keep the 71 javelins. And then we'll split. We'll, this will be our whole army. And then we'll split between that. So let's actually... Okay, these Druidanes don't need that. We can give it to this guy. This Warband, I'd rather have the Chainmail instead. These guys will be okay. Because we'll send... Maybe we'll send most of that down there. Or at least maybe the split-up units. Saralond? No. Saralond may be our go-to versus uh, Lond Galen, actually. So maybe we'll send the, uh, the a couple of the stronger ones here and then keep some of the weaker ones at Saraland in hopes to retrain. We'll be sending up these guys as well will, after that. Yes. Come out here. Mark your will, my lord. Come out here. Maybe Let's go ahead and start sending today, these guys to Saraland. March to exhaustion, continuing like Actually, a big Okay, they can't attack Come us. That's good. Get me, you coward. Um... I think that's... we were going to take the turn after that. We did everything here. We're yes, still chilling lord. here. We started the siege lord, here. My lord. Let's go for it. We have our diplomat going to Mordor right now. <clears throat> um, What were we going to do there? We were going to try to get their map information so we can see how far they've pushed up, what, what it's like against Gondor on their front. <clears throat> and maybe use him as a slight spy. The enemy. <sighs> what? We didn't get the ambush, but that's okay. <clears throat> it would have been nice. It would have been nice to have, but uh, we'll take it. I think we'll still be able to fight them off and get to the city in time. Plus, it'll be just nice extra gold for us. Any other ways we can get Aldheen some more, like, retinue, some more experience. Or just as troops in general. Because we'll break, I think we'll break most of them pretty quickly. They don't have a general in there. Alright, Isengard. Okay, they're back up. I think the Rohirrim just came out, you know, that one strong Rohirrim group when they were getting beat down. Maybe they were spending too much time over at, uh... <clears throat> Over at the Hornburg. Everyone wants to siege the Hornburg. But no one wants to be sieged by the Hornburg. <clears throat> mm. I don't know how that's going to fare for you, buddy. I mean, I see what they're trying to do. I see what they're going with. They don't have a general. I would be a little more worried if they had a general in there. But we're kind of stacked with Chieftain Umbarium Fleet on the Moon. Corsairs seek to claim the second greatest port on our shores, Mithlond. Mithlond! Elphalus is sieged at Dol Amroth? They want us to take Mitra. Yeah, we're trying yes, to, brother. My lord. We're trying to. You don't need to tell me, game, but I mean, I'll take it. Largest faction. We are the largest faction right now. Nice. The Hornburg is sieged. Got rioting, yeah. Makes sense. Your will, my lord. Kinda did it to ourselves. Um 
trying to think of what to do here. I think we just let the rioting continue. If we need to take it back, we need to take it back. I can't remember how that works in this. Trained all these guys. So now they got a little, they're a little bit stronger. All right, let's pop on these guys. We have triumphed as you come on, and, and we'll be ready to jump on them. These guys can now come in here. Let's send your will, my lord. Big yes. section of them here. Your will, I guess we're gonna have to get some more. My lord. No, we need to. We need to put guys in here. Retrain them. Grove of Stories. Get that Grove of Stories going. Maybe we start? We don't have any culture, so we're not going to be able to recruit anything. The, yeah, this, that will be good. Armory here. Maybe even set the armory here for later. A Saraland. Because again, I think we're going to... We may push the offensive... No, yeah. We'll just keep this at Long Galen for now. Just because that's a little weird area for us. Emrothian Merchant. We don't have to worry about him too much. Come back up here. Use our other spy to keep going down this way. Um, let's go over here. Ethering looks pretty good. There's a lot of trade coming from their area. I'm down this way. Yes. I shall continue tomorrow. Just to see what's going down. If only I could. Maybe head down Stop that way here. instead. Um, as far as our troops on the move. My lord. By your command, refresh, your restock. Will, my lord. As you wish, my lord. Have these guys chilling here command. for the refresh, restock. Your will, my lord. We can't get there. Ballista goes on its my way. Lord. As you wish. Your orders, my lord. How's this we shall like? engage. Robbie, some gatekeepers. I mean, they got a decent amount of guys. He's only a two commander versus the Wolf brothers. Muriark and Wolf. Yeah, but we I mean, yeah, our troop we have a good section of cavalry. We have some okay warriors, but nothing really that over the top. They have the Breland Militia, which isn't too good. I'm not... The Merchant Infantry are almost dead. Still a little worried, though. A little worried. So maybe we just wait it out. Yes, my lord. We had to build Siege Towers and stuff, on. too. So I, yes. if this is what I think it is, which has Ballista Towers... I think they do have an Armory, so do they get more when we attack? We shall engage. Yeah, oh, okay, that's what they got. They got the extra defender there. Your will, my I was wondering how Lord, that works. My Lord. Come and get me. Let's go for let's go for fighting this captain battle. first. Captain bit. Must then we'll work then we'll work our way down into Gondor. Into I think we keep that siege going just for a little bit longer. Maybe till we see an enemy come in, so we'll try to keep an eye out with our spy. On any reinforcing armies, but if nothing's coming, then I think we hold that siege out. Uh, let it just go on for a little bit more, because we're reducing their income still anyway. <clears throat> and then we're going to make it a little bit easier for our guys, since we have a lot of chaff in that army. And while I'd like to see the chaff live up to their name, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't want them all to die. I'm not that cruel. Let's do something like that. We don't have a lot of range. As I forget that I had all these archers up here. Yes. We're going to pull this guy back. These three guys. This archer will just be a little blob out to the side here. Javelins. We'll keep them in the back for now, actually. Um, we'll have our chaff lead up the front line with our Dunland Raiders. We'll have the strongest front line. We'll do something like this. 
Get a block of them together. With these berserkers leading up here. So that's all these guys. Let's group them up together. Something like that again, but we'll do that. Create a second little block. Oh gosh, this is so awkward. Maybe we'll do something like this instead. There we go. That'll be our wall. These two guys chilling out here. We'll have them as another group, but we'll keep them freestand. Generals out here on the wings. Berserkers out here on the left side. Dunlin Raiders out here. Warband, wide flank out here. I think let's just let's keep Aldhine a little protected with all that. Kind of sit like this, have the chaff come out a little bit more, so they don't get hurt by that ballista as much. Let's see what these ballista can do to them while they're running away. Do something like this. Let's keep shifting our line down. Run these guys out this way. Should be a similar ish formation, maybe not as tight. Maybe a little wonky as well. There we go. Something like that, perhaps. We'll just do something like that instead. Um, ballistas. <laughs> Let's just see if we can get them to come for us a little bit. Let's have them out here instead. Have these guys spread out a wing like that. Oh. Alright, Ballista, do it. Do what you were born to do. Fire Ballista's at them. Let's slow this down a little bit. Javelins at the ready. Go for these watch sheriffs now. You guys collapse into here. I want you guys to come together. I want these ballistas to just fire right into there. What? Shoot these guys. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. We're gonna crush these guys. Yeah, we don't want to fire at our own guys like that. That's a lot of enemy or uh, friendly fires if we do that. Let's go out this way. You guys attack out here. You three attack out here. You three head up this way. Out here, go out here. I think we keep this guy here. Let's throw at these guys while these guys run back. Let's see if we can get a lot of these javelins out. It's okay, these are mostly chaff. Most of these guys are out here. Let's attack these merchant militia. If we continue like this, keep chucking at these guys. Woof. Okay, Ballista, you can go ahead and stop. 
Our men have slain the enemy general. Captain down. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Captain down. Just keep chasing after these archer militia. Out he and you get in there. You guys keep going here. Just keep shooting at them. You guys collapse into here now. Oh yeah, there comes out he. The man, the myth, the legend. Never thought he'd amount to anything too much. He proved us all wrong. We'll just shred these merchant militias that are running away. Maybe. They got a lot of armor. I mean, these, these clan hunters, maybe we don't even worry about getting clan hunters anymore. It's kind of nice to have them just to poke at stuff. They really, I mean, they've Behold, really proven that they don't matter too runs. much in this. It's time to press the attack. I mean, they're all firing at him. Let's see if this guy can fire at him too. We're not getting many kills at all. I mean, it is Merchant Militia. So it's not the targets we should be firing at them with, but I figured we could get something. Let's go ahead and exit out of this here. This is a clear victory. I don't think we killed off. Especially because I saw an 800 and then I saw a number that was over a thousand. So I definitely know that wasn't 85% of the enemy. <laughs> If if our arch if all of those archers were bee slayers instead, I think we would have had the kill because we would have had the armor piercing armor piercing arrows mixed with the uh I think they had like five or six missile damage instead of like our guys three. <laughs> Actually did it I may have went up now that we had extra levels on them. But I doubt they get actually that many kills in a fight. I don't think I've really paid attention to their levels. Yeah, like bronze. Yeah, missile attack three. Your orders, my lord. Now they're not too. Uh, they're not too bad still. We shall engage. We'll hold the we siege here prevail. just for now. Yes. Will the four-star general? We got some lumber. <laughs> Lumbermen. See, that's what we go for. Only four armor, no no shield. That's a target. As well as these bandits, perhaps, versus at least the merchant militia, which just have so much armor and a shield. Orders. So what I think we do yes, is let's lord. go ahead and do our little. I think we could do this fairly quickly. Your orders, my lord. We'll to attempt battle. the night attack. Actually, do we attempt the night attack? Because that guy's gonna have less command coming in. Actually, if we do that. But we come here, we look back. So this guy's still out, but this guy has less command. Attack! Does that work like that? Let's see. I mean, if not, that guy doesn't have... If he doesn't have that, or we it's not a night fight accidentally because of that, that the, the one archer comes in, we still shred them with all of our units. But I, we're going to crush this army. Await my orders. This is what I like. Ooh, this is what I like to see. Where where are these guys going to be? They're going to be downhill no matter what. I think we start with the ballistas up here. That's a highly, highly likely area that they're going to be. Oh. Let's do this. There we go. Something like that. Javelins. We'll pull them right behind for now. Um, staunch line of pikes. We'll have that at the ready back here. This side will have you guys. And our chieftain. Push that left side. And then the rest of you guys will be out here on our other flank. Just at the ready. See what happens. Looks like they may try running to us. I'm okay with that. Their calves are coming around. Oh. 
Yes, I see what they're doing here. I see what you guys are going with. And I'm gonna have to say goodbye with that. Get these wolf spikes out here. Start moving them up a little bit like this. From the side, get most of those pikes out here just to block those horses. Against these guys, we don't want to fight the horses too much. And that should put us at a, and our archers are fairly protected. We have the rest of these guys chilling there. And while the rest of our spears are out here, there is still some more cavalry out this way that we need to protect against. They could clash in on those axemen, that would hurt, but once our axemen are sitting there in sustained fight with them, we'll be a lot stronger. I was gonna say, please tell me that's, uh... I thought that was gonna be their, uh, general or something we were gonna be shooting at. Oh, yes. I'm ready with the arrows. Definitely have to shoot at the Black Root Veil archers, most likely. Actually, let's ready this line. Have them go ahead and pre-charge onto these archers. Perhaps. So if we're bringing the Chieftain out, we definitely want to push up a little bit with these guys. Try to get ready to funnel them. Maybe the only person we don't bring in right now is the Chieftain. Let's bring up these guys instead. We'll have a little pocket, which could be bad. Keep moving these guys up, though. And our goal is to just have such a wide line of spears that if these cav run anywhere, we're going to be able to just kind of morph around or pick back around. We're trying to create like a we like weird amorphous blobs of everything. See what you guys will shoot. Let's stay away from the firing line, though. So these guys can just shoot. I'd rather make them rush me than do anything brash. Brass, crass, rash. Words. Once our ballistas get enough kills, they probably will be running after us anyway. You know what, if it takes hitting the Gondor Spearmen to do it, that's okay. See if we can hit these guys. We are shooting with our clan hunters, that's good. These guys aren't particularly well armored, so we may be able to get some kills actually here. Do something here. Turn on defensive mode. These guys. We're not bring I don't think we bring them up just yet. So we bring up this line, the line of spears, up this way. Push these guys out this way. Have these guys fall back just a little bit with that. Kind of like a, yeah, stagger line like that. Wolf spikes come out here. Shoot these Black Root Veil archers now. Let's go attack these guys. It's okay if these guys get shot. I think it's okay, like, fine if we lose the archers at this point. Nothing, we're not missing anything too crazy with it. Let's do this. Let's just, oh, start hitting that general's bodyguard if he can, please. Yes, please. This is what we're keeping these guys for. Make sure their line's okay. Run these guys out here. The battle is very much in our favor. Into here. Victory will be ours. These guys circle in here. 
pushing off that cav. Keep an eye on them. Oh no. Pull these guys back. Pull them back here or something. Javelins come out this way. We're going to smack them from the backside. We're going to try to get as close as we can as well. Okay, you guys crush here. You guys crush here. You guys crush here. You guys come in here. These guys are in a little bit of a mix, but that's okay. And it's not too big of an issue. Shoot these Black Root Veil Archers. Dunlin Raiders are doing fine here. They are going to take a beating, though. Come on, guys. Where is it at? Where is that Javelin? Where's my jet? Yes, reform that line, please. Hey, if they want to hit us from behind, go ahead. Go ahead. Ooh! There we go. That's a that's a line. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. You guys, spear them in here. They're fighting off those cab. We're fine. Hold on the defensive mode now. Chieftain. Get in there. You guys are crushing them. Let's walk it up on these guys, except have them walk up here. Actually, let's run it with these guys instead. We'll bring it back down eventually. If we hope to remember. Spill the blood of Come on, get that toss in first. There we go. Ooh. Those guys are so toast. Bring them in here, I suppose. Go for these ca cavalry militia. Maybe come out here as well. Drop this down. You guys keep going for that Black Root Veil Archer. You guys keep coming back here. You guys got on firing. I think they already stopped firing anyway. Let's just peel these guys off. Let's have them go after these Black Root Veil Archers instead. Actually, let's circle these guys back in, do this, jump onto that cavalry here. Ballista, stop firing. Jump in on these bodyguards with everyone. And I'm thinking that'll be it in a second, once we kill that general. We've captured the enemy's general! That'll Ooh, teach the we've captured the enemy's general! The enemy army flees the field. This is a clear victory! There we go. And with that, we'll end this episode. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, skip, 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 scrab. You know, I'll take whatever I can get, baby. This is about to be all of Gondor right here, except not on fire, but rebuilt anew, as we would like to call it. But with the fire, yeah, we'll still keep the fire, actually. <laughs> But yeah, we'll do, I think our other siege battle is coming up next. So we'll start the next siege battle. Have mercy, oh, get out of here, Faction Air. An and just real quick, yes. drop him off too. Okay, there we go. See you next time.